Cigarettes. Hi, this is Leslie McLeod or Lala 606.0 for Yeah and So What Productions, and I'm here in Gary, Indiana, at the Barack Obama Presidential Campaign Office, and we're moving up. That's right. In line. Let's go. Let's go. Waiting for our town hall tickets for his event tomorrow at 11 a.m. at Roosevelt High School here in Gary, Indiana. As you see, the line is all the way up there. But that's a good thing because the line was all the way back there and around there. But we're moving up in line, and you'll see a lot of great things here, yeah, and so what. And But for now, we're going to wait in line and, and get those town hall meeting tickets. So I guess I'll see you later, maybe in the office. We gotta bank these votes early the uh, election night and they're not this line. So what happens is the lines get so long on election night, people pull up, you see the line, they go right on. I don't have time. They, they right on the way home. So that's why it's so important we do this early. Take a couple more for friends, man. We need to bank this early. Gary and Ian got the lowest voting turnout. Who are you with the campaign? I'm with the campaign. Are you a volunteer or a uh, manager? I'm a staff member. You, staff member. You press? I was the same lady from earlier. Okay. The name of my blog is Yeah and So What. It's my brother and sister in law. Okay, great. Great. So what you need to do is you need to go vote early. Okay. Is everyone going to go vote early? Yeah. Okay, great. So you just take a photo. Vote, vote early. You can vote today. The polls are open down in Crown Point. Lake County Courthouse. No, we need you to because on election night we can't have a long line like this. We can't. Well, that, where do you live? You live in Lake County? Then you can vote at the Crown Point Courthouse. Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Yes, ma'am. All right. So why are you guys out here today? I heard you got married. My wife made me go. I'm out, I'm out here to uh, see can I get a ticket for this epic event. Are you a Hillary supporter? Get the hell out of here. I mean, you know, I, I support Hillary and what she does. You know, because, because in that she's a Democrat, yeah, she's however. She's a Democrat. And, uh, in all actuality, she's probably qualified for the position. but Because think, she's a woman. I think there's other guys that y'all tag be more qualified. Yeah, because of some other reasons too, but well, yeah, there's a myriad of reasons. Yeah, you know. uh, yeah, we found out eight years ago. <laughs> right. You but know. you know, that was the best that you had when you when you upgrade. Do you still want to sit in coach? Oh, you want to sit in first class? Yeah, I'm, I'm upgrade. I'm upgrade. All That's the way. right. You want your upgrade, and right Obama the is our upgrade. They were all right for the period of time that we had them. Can't complain. You know However, what? I don't even take know upgrade. I don't even know if it's so much an upgrade. It's just for so for so long we've had you know candidates that come along and you know there's a there's a there's maybe a question a running question of you know whether they're qualified whether you know the person's the right man for the job and up until now we've never actually had a candidate that was you know charismatic educated actually qualified other than being black that was their only you know prerequisite that they actually feel that we knew about so you know and plus, you know, he, he, for some reason he gives you the air of confidence that he actually can succeed in a lot of stuff he's saying. So yeah, he's believable. You believe that he can do what you, he says he can do. Right. I try to look at it really pessimistic. And, uh, you know, no, no. This guy's a bunch of bull, but I can't find a real chink in his armor. A real justifiable chink. So. Yeah. Justifiable would be the operative word. Right. You know, you can bring up a lot of small, insignificant issues right. that have nothing to do with his ability to lead a nation. Okay. You, you, you can bring up a lot of insignificant stuff, but you just be talking semantics. You just be talking semantics. Everybody has something that may or may not We need him to be able to get a bill through Congress. <laughs> We need him to know what bill to, 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 to draft and offer. We need him to know the mechanisms of the, the little people that he comes from, you know? 
even though, you know, technically it is from a minor president, however, he has intimate knowledge of struggling workers, people who work every day for a living. He has intimate knowledge of that. That's what counts the most, because yeah. if you've never been a blue-collar worker, I don't even think you can begin to understand the plight of the blue-collar worker. That's right. His wife, our future first lady, her father was a, a city worker. He worked for the city of Chicago until he passed away. So I know she knows. <laughs> and that in and of itself has to have some type of uh, influence and sway right. over the decisions that he makes that can affect this country. You go do it. You the one that went to college for this. Not me. <laughs> now you want me to put that on the I sure do. I got a great sound bite for you. Here you go. That guy with the aqua hat asked him what he did. Dada! Dada! I read it in the paper this morning. I was like, oh, you gotta get tickets. Let me go. Let me go. I'm from Harry. I'm from Harry originally, but I'm from Harry. So, what are you so excited about getting paid to see Obama? Why, why get here, you know? So, so you guys are like uh, getting volunteers while you're yeah, out here? Yeah, volunteers are okay. signing people up for their precincts, you know, people who know their neighborhood. You know, to call people up and see if they're ready to vote, and see if they're going to be voting for Obama. We count votes now, it's time to just get down to the wire and be trying to make sure we have a block of voters here in Northwest Indiana. That's right. That's all about. We in North, I was reading in, in the newspaper, and it was saying that North Carolina and Indiana may be the new Super Tuesday, the so-called Super Tuesday. What are you guys thinking at that campaign headquarters here? Well, we think it. Uh, we it think it's belief. the truth. We I think we will fill that Northwest Indiana as a large voting keeper. block, and we'll deliver work. votes. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll solidify that. Are we and, uh, a are we a we're a Republican state. Right? We're a Republican state. Uh, well, what's going to happen family. here is uh, the voting block here is going to be larger than it's ever been for president, and it's going to be larger in Indianapolis. It's going to be larger in every other uh, city of Fort Wayne, South Bend. You're going to have more people voting, which will uh, increase, it will, it will lessen the chances of this state uh, going over to the Republicans. Okay. You just have to have that large voting block of people actually going out to vote. And this uh, this race right here is going to prove to probably possibly turn the state over. Okay. Well, and thank you, sir. What's your name for the race? Oscar Lindsay. Okay, and you're a volunteer with the... Uh, volunteer with the Barack Obama campaign. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to say to the public, like a phone number or a website? I, know I don't have the telephone. <laughs> Everything is right inside. Okay. All that information, if you need, is right inside. So I, volunteers can come up here at 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and sign up. That's right. Volunteers can come up here and sign up in between those hours, and uh, we'll call you up and let you know exactly what you need to do. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Very much. Hello. Hello. When we stand up for freedom, when we send our young men and women into harm's way. We have a solemn obligation not to crush the numbers or shape the truth about why they're going, to care for their families while they're gone, to tend to the soldiers upon their return, and to Senator Obama needs volunteers. You guys want to go to the event because why? Um, just because it's a... Uh world changing event. We have uh, history going to be in the making regardless of how you look at it. We're going to have a black candidate or a female which is going to be set. The president is going to be a watershed issue and uh, I'm really rooting for Barack. Okay. You want to state your name for the record? Jason M. Johnson, Westside High School. Okay. I went to elementary school with you. Yes, you did. So we got to get in this line right here? Yep. All the way back there now. It's where we are. You guys have your tickets? Obama. She wants a ticket. She doesn't want to. But you don't want the ticket. I'm looking at the ticket and you. 
And, they want that and all that hard work paid off, you got your ticket. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. This individualism, there's another ingredient in the American side. A belief that we're all connected as one people.